tonight remembering a life lost far too soon. Family and friends of Avelina Conway Coxon holding a vigil in her memory tonight. A two-year-old died in foster care, and her death is still very much a mystery tonight. WBZ's Julie Lonchek was at this vigil tonight, and so were some of the little girl's relatives. Julie, what are they saying? Because it's still a long-standing mystery, I think at this point all the parties involved are really just looking for some answers. Both the child's biological family who gathered here this evening, but also this foster family who today maintains nothing sinister happened. Next to the funeral home where she prepares to lay her child to rest, Evelina Conway Coxon's biological mother gathered to remember the two-year-old she says she was working so hard to care for again. It was tough. You know, no one should have to witness a, a small baby like that. She is a good person. She's sober and working really hard in her recovery, and I'm really proud of her. 25 miles away, another family also grieved. She's devastated, absolutely devastated. Tamarai Melpass says her sister, Ava's foster mother, loved her three foster children as much as she did her own children. She was bringing these children into her life to take care of them because she believed they belonged back with their parents, and in the meantime, she wanted them to live a normal, healthy life. Authorities have said little of their investigation, concluding a second search warrant on the Auburn home Wednesday, where Ava and another toddler were found unresponsive Saturday. That child is said to be in dire condition. The foster mother has not been charged, and her sister maintains whatever did or didn't happen was nothing more than an accident. We are confident that there is zero chance of anything with intent or malice. 64 911 calls does it for me. And I don't care what they think of me because I don't think very much of them. And just yesterday, the DA said at this point they haven't even labeled this a criminal investigation yet. We're live in Marlboro, Julie Lonchek, WBZ News.